Hey everyone, welcome back to QA Automation with Gaurav. So in part one, we understood what Gen AI testing is and why it's powerful. Now it's time to explore the real stars, the tools that makes AI testing possible. We'll look at their features, use cases, and best fit scenarios for QA teams. So let's begin. So first we're gonna look into testing. So this is by uh, Tricentis. So it's bring uh, uh, AI into test authoring and maintenance. Uh, if you can see, there are multiple things like it can auto detect locators, it can heal broken UI elements, um, it can integrate with CI CD tools. So, yeah, there are multiple advantages of using testing. So, it's ideal for uh, large scale UI testing with frequent design updates. Okay. So let's go to their website, test team. Okay, this is their website. Mm, yeah. So there are multiple products of testing. I am just navigating to the automation tool. This is the website as you can see. We have the option of login. We will we can create and sign up at an account in test team. It's free. We can schedule a demo for checking how we can uh, work with the test team uh, automation tool. So this is the dashboard actually. We, if you can see, there are multiple flows. This is the login flow. Yeah. So here it's written that your dynamic application needs test automation that keeps pace. So this test team's fast authoring with code code flexibility boosts coverage ai powered stability slashes maintenance and test ops helps scale your team and testing efficiently there are some partners which have already implemented test team as you can see yeah i mean yeah it's it's just focusing on fast authoring of ai powered painless tests it can create stable tests in minutes so this is the login test with navigating to url username password customize in visual editor so it seems like there is some visual editor that is present in the dashboard so we can configure web or mobile test in editor without code to meet your project specific needs add validations loops and conditions parameterize your data and optimize optimize reuse so yeah it gives us more ways to write the test like in groups loops ai steps we can add customize with the code yeah self-healing tests so basically we can write self-healing tests with the help of testing We can go and find the root cause analysis and see why the test cases are failed because they are providing good logs. Uh, like we can easily troubleshoot. Yeah, I mean there are multiple features to it. Yeah. So let's see what functionize is. It it basically is another AI tool which lets us to write tests in plain English using NLP. So you describe the behavior, AI builds the automation part. It supports it supports test or, or analytics, parallel execution, um, machine learning based defect prediction. So it is perfect for agile teams aiming to reduce manual scripting. So yeah, these are the few features and if we can go to the website, so this is the website where we have all the details, QA is dead, <laughs> build what's next. So basically it's just uh, promoting the AI thing and uh, yeah, 
trusted by world's boldest engineering teams these are the companies which have implemented functionize built to end brittle testing once for all functionize is the first ai native testing platform powered by specialized agents that think adapt and act these are not scripts or plugins they are intelligent systems built to eliminate the grind of grind of test creation and maintenance so engineering teams can finally move at the speed of innovation so yeah cloud first ai first agentic at the core it delivers the quality at the scale for enterprises ready to move from reactive qa to truly intelligent adapting testing yeah these are kind of few of the features uh, which they provide tests in second unbounded parallel testing unmatched application intelligence agentic platform at the core meet the agentic so these the agents will do these things like create greater test coverage high quality products execute test agents self healing reduces test maintenance document keep stakeholders and teams in the loop diagnose keep development teams in the loop automatically so yeah these are more de more details resources uh, guides so they have documentation for all the time all the uh, topics related to automation testing and testing itself so you can go through it and check each of them so yeah this is about functionize So let's see what uh, test trigger has to offer so it takes no code testing into another level you can write simple english uh, formatted way of writing we can write the test cases or the statements like click on login button enter username verify success message so it executes automatically we don't need to write any any kind of code it is a no code automation tool so plus it integrates with jenkins github actions and jira so it's ideal for continuous testing pipeline let's go to the website this is the website uh let me go to the exact website yeah this is the website and if you can see it it is claiming that it is a number one generative ai based testing automation tool with test trigger you can use free flowing plain english to build test automation test trigger will understand and execute your instructions instructions exactly as written the way test trigger operates is by translating high level instructions like per jase kindle so so like we can write plain simple statements one by one and we can exec execute it we have to make sure that the element which are used that the text the same text has to be maint uh, maintained and we can write the same thing that is one thing so there are multiple columns like why test trigger ai testing features case studies login sign up if you can see this is one of a simple video they have attached where they have maintained test suits we have they have created multiple test cases into it they are just writing simple clean click add to cart and yeah check that page contents added to cart message so it's pretty much like we are just writing uh the test case is manually we are not creating a test script so once all the test cases are created we can just uh, we have the option of executing it anything which is failed we can retry it and we can tell the ai also to fix any kind of errors uh which are coming so it uh, we can fix it by ourselves but we can use the help of ai also in this anyways we have uh, already created a series for this test trigger you uh, you can go ahead and watch the entire series uh, that is present in qa automation with gorov uh, yeah, also i will add the link in the description mabel is another uh, testing tool it focuses on smart ui testing and visual validations it learns application behavior over time um adjusting test execution intelligently it's great for uh, cloud based teams running multiple environments so yeah we can use mabel for that mm, let's go to the website this is the website of mabel uh they have they have a column of why mabel it amplify your team's impact and uh, yeah this is the website 
you can go through it so mabel's agentic tester fundamentally transform code development and queue activities eliminating testing bottlenecks and driving tangible business results it's it's a powerful digital uh, teammate that enables new workflows freeing your team to focus on high value strategizing uh, work that drives innovation test smarter deliver faster so yeah it has claimed that it will it ha it can stop chasing the flaky tests and start building mabel's agentic tester is your intelligent copilot it handles repetitive work for test creation and execution so this is the real point where it handles repetitive work of test creation execution analysis and maintenance yeah so basically, basically this will allow the team to focus on high higher value quality engineering work making us more uh, strategic and effective so there are other uh, features they have mentioned you can go through it yeah this is about mabel so let's go to another tool this is called apply tool size so it uses visual ai and uh, it does not compare pixels it understands visuals like a human so it's perfect for uh, uh, visual regression cross browser checks and ui consistency validations uh, i've opened the website yeah so basically it uh, uses AI to help teams quickly ship high quality applications on any browser or device by replicating the human eye and automatically spotting bugs and defects with every release this is the website you can go and check the features of it why it has been used and how it is different from other tools visual AI is a better way to write and maintain your ui tests so if you can compare how drastically they have reduced the lines of code you can compare the lines of code visual ai validates every element component and interface so you never miss a chance never miss a change or error okay it reduces maintenance to a single click using ai to group changes for easy analysis and updating so it resolves this uh, the similar differences instantly by leveraging to sophisticated L. they have some few uh, algorithms that they use which automatically analyze difference across all your tests to generate a report showing only the distinct differences so multiple companies they are they have already started uh, building the custom gen ai layers or they use the existing ai uh, like OpenAI or ChatGPT or some private LLMs, um, basically the it it usually helped to reduce some repetitive work. <coughs> um, so we'll take an example of ChatGPT for now. Uh, with ChatGPT, like we can do multiple things, but specific to the testing, there are, uh, we can create any uh, prompt as per our need and it would give us result uh, for example we can generate cucumber feature files automatically we can create test cases for both happy and unhappy paths create test data for boundary cases we can generate api testing scripts dynamically so we can do anything with with these kind of ai tools <clears throat> so basically this gives team full control over ai behavior and domain specific logic Let's go to ChatGPT and see how we can uh, just play around with few of the prompts. I have I have already created few of them and the results are already there. But yeah, let's go from the starting. So I have just given a prompt like this is ChatGPT. I have asked the ChatGPT to just write few feature scenarios for login functionality, including happy and unhappy paths. So see how cleanly they have uh given me the result with a uh, feature login functionality a little bit of description on that scenario one successful login with valid credentials this is the happy path 
uh, the second scenario is login fails with incorrect password uh, if you can see it has properly given the gherkin uh, language based feature file uh, scenarios here user logins with valid credentials given when given then like everything as per what is required they have mentioned this is for the unhappy path and this is another one unhappy path where we are giving we are trying with a non-existent username so yeah it, it has it has good knowledge of like it, it is it shares uh, the right uh, uh, results uh, like these kind of scenarios and coming to the next I have asked to write test cases for login functionality including happy and unhappy path it has just created everything test case id test scenario precondition test steps expected result it has given me in the tabular form so this i can easily refer or i can take it directly and use it in my work this is for the unhappy path now coming to the third one prepare i have just asked ChatGPT to prepare a user story for login functionality it has taken the prompt it it went on to create the user story with epic name feature story id user story with all description acceptance criteria it has included with all the details with id acceptance criteria and the priority as well non test scenario reference also they have given so yeah it, it has given a good result by including all the details and when, when i asked about creating a user story then same for the rtm also resource uh, requirement traceability matrix it has given all the details in the tabular form so i just asked the chat to create selenium automation script for login functionality with happy and unhappy path validations so it has not only given me the script it has given me uh, the entire structure of the framework like where I need to change uh, what where I need to add the method where I need to add the locators where I need to add the test scripts so everything they have mentioned so for example here base tests what I need to change login page what I need to add what kind of locators need to be added the method required uh, I mean the actions required for the test script and this is the login test where i am creating the test case enter username password click login then verifying with the welcome message this is happy path unhappy path yeah so everything they have given so you see how 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 nicely they have provided everything and they are giving the additional information like how we will be executing it and how the sample output will look like so this is very good this is really nice so these are the top ai testing tools uh, leading the industry right now so in the part three uh, we'll put this knowledge into the action uh, with live integration example best practices and we'll look into the future of ai in qa so don't miss the final part hit subscribe hit subscribe and stay tuned so if you like the series uh, don't forget to hit the like button as well thank you